Alright, I am back. Had uh, Thanksgiving yesterday. That was fun, as always. Uh, missing some people this year, but uh, it's unfortunate, but it's life. Um, but yeah, um, been buying some Steam games. Um, since they're all it's Black Friday sales, so yeah. Otherwise, here we go. How can I help you, boys? Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I gonna get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks. Try another number. 20? Try 10. You'll feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. What's this mark here? Maker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Does this mark mean anything? All mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. Problem. We could have the local trooper check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. The purpose having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned his rings. How do you figure that? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. The Dahlia letters are genuine, but the man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Mullen. And how do we prove that? No. Skipper ain't gonna like this one. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity. KGPL to all units. Citizen reports man with a gun. Union and Rockwood Street. Union and Rockwood Street. Unit to handle code 2. Identify.
out to all units. Citizen reports man with a gun. Union and Rockwood Street. Union and Rockwood Street. Unit to handle code 2. Identify. 11K, go ahead. 11K. Damn it. I said cough it up. I'm not going to say it again. Say it again. Do my yeah. That's it, old man. I've had enough of your gibberish. Give it up, LAPD! Hurry! You can still catch him!
at the trolley station on Lucas Avenue. Stand by for further. This is car 11 King. Go ahead with the further. 11 King, two 459 suspects sighted in the vicinity of the trolley station on Lucas Avenue between Court and Colton. You should have iced those folks. You leave no witnesses, you stay out of the park. Not riding all the way to Santa Ana and then on to Cincinnati with you pissing in my but ear. But I'm tired of always being on the lam. I don't have a choice. A stick-up charge is still a stick-up charge, and I ain't going back inside. You're both coming with me. Don't do anything stupid. Car 11K calling KGPL. Code 4 at the Lucas Avenue trolley station. The 459 suspects are in custody. Roger, 11K. All units, code 4 on the 459 suspects at the Lucas Avenue trolley station.
You boys ready? Follow me. We should keep this development with the rings under our hat until we speak to the captain. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, Phelps. The skipper will decide who needs to know. You got it? I get it. Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell, but it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. Shit for personal items, not booze. It's an angle worth investigating. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks, ma'am.
What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up. Optimistic, Corp. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. No more for you. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Classic Carmine. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. Did you take any money? It wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick in her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I can tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Clyde, you get this sack of shit into a cell, I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. Good morning, ladies. that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? 
guess that's okay then. Armies can't fight without food. You can spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. You know, you let us take some for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down the job for quite some time before she was killed. Rollins Bowling Alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Rawlings. I know that place. Corner of 9th and Grand. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music.
Evelyn was reading Aristotle? Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. She wasn't always such a loner. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things? She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? Not many people will be sad she's gone. I'll be one of the few. I got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her stay at home. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. And to be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on it. Do you know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. We're struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. From what I gather, the feeling was far from mutual. He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. You could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. No problem. Hey, I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. Don't you think you'd better boil the incoming? Oh, let's time for a change. <laughs> oh, pardon me. What are you doing, Doctor? I am about to operate. Here's the best live programming and transcribed shows. KBI 760. Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Match. Evelyn Summers, what is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? 
A uh, bunch of these guys. Ask around. I want to emphasize at the outset of these hearings that the fact that the Committee on Un-American Activities... What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. Do you want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes, strikes, workers' rights, that kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. You say you barely knew Evelyn? Yes. That is correct. We guard that with great care. You're lying, McCaffrey. You looked down your nose at Evelyn, but you knew her, and you have some idea of what happened. I hope you're holding aces. I'm telling you again, I barely knew the woman. Why would you lend her your book on metaphysics if you only knew her in passing? It was more than that. A renaissance man like yourself, lending his books to his acolytes. She hounded me about that goddamn book. And then she lifts it from my apartment and lies to my face that she didn't take it. As if she could even comprehend any of it. I saw her go into a hotel with Tiernan last night. They had booze in a paper bag. He's your man. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. King. A message from Captain Donnelly, return to Central, go to. Eleven King, enter out. Let's not keep the man waiting, Phelps. Stay off the moonshine, punk! Alright, I must take it off now. Well, I can. I just, if I don't stop at some point, I'll keep playing. But yeah, uh, that'll be it for today. So yeah, peace out.